Can you run this in Cajun you? country, even breakfast is steeped in local flavor. Justin's poached eggs taste just like Louisiana. Because it has Buddha and gumbo in it, which are two of the most essential dishes or ingredients in Cajun cuisine. Gumbo, a meat and seafood stew first cooked up in the 18th century, and boudin, sausage made from rice and pork, imported from France and adapted into one of the region's signature dishes. Justin trained as a chef in Europe, but it was these dishes that lured him back home to the city of Lafayette, where he's opened his own restaurant, mixing old and new. My mother was a great cook, and her mother was a great cook, and that set the foundation for my appreciation for good food. And as soon as I left Lafayette, I realized there's pretty bad food out there. There's also great food, but uh, I, I missed the well-seasoned, well-cooked, home-style cooking uh, of Louisiana. Justin sources his ingredients in the back roads of the bayou, home to some of the best Cajun dishes. Children's dream of this. These boudins will wind up in his restaurant. Good breakfast. But for lunch, it's this popular spot, known for its crawfish etouffee and its fried chicken livers and gizzards. We can't keep enough in the pot, uh, especially on the weekends. People come and get it, they use it for tailgating, when they have tailgate parties. I mean, they just, it's, or they just eat it for lunch. Cajun foods become popular nationwide, but cooking and eating it is a point of pride here, part of Louisiana's French Afro-Caribbean heritage. We're, we're keeping the culture alive, you know, we're keeping it at the forefront. We're not forgetting about it and, and turning elsewhere to find uh, more unique food. We're taking what we already have and, and progressing with it. But sometimes you have to eat Cajun food the good old-fashioned way, on the move. Some of the best Louisiana restaurants only serve takeout. 